Hey, Elon Musk, before we get started, let's head on over to your pledge. Good morning, LMS. Today is day six, Monday, April 3rd, and these are your student announcements. This is a reminder that today is the last day of the marking period three. Be sure to get all those last assignments in. Seventh grade students interested in applying for Buzz TV next year should check out the Schoology code posted outside room 408. Don't delay. The first piece of the application is due by the end of the day tomorrow. Current 6th or 7th graders interested in field hockey for this fall should meet with Coach Martz today, 9th period, in the LGI to discuss spring practices, tournaments, and the upcoming season. If you are interested in joining the LMS field hockey team, be sure to attend. Builders Club members who want to help at the Emmaus Easter Egg Hunt on Saturday should stop up to room 521 and get a promotion slip from Mrs. Shingler. Even if you got one on Tuesday's meeting, you need to get another permission slip as one of the dates was wrong. The permission slips are due today. See Ms. Shingler if any questions. Eighth grade students who wish to buy semi-tickets need to bring $15 to your team leader during homeroom or ninth period by April 17th. Cash or check is made out to LMS. If you do not purchase a ticket by April 17th, the price will go up by $20. So be sure to get your ticket today. There's an activity night for 6th and 7th graders on Friday, April 28th from 6 to 9 p.m. Activities include basketball, ping pong, movies, craft making, baking, cooking, board games, a marshmallow STEM activity, a cozy reading corner, and a music and selfie wall. Tickets cost $10 and, and include a hot dog, drink, and snack. Additional food items are available. Stay tuned for more info coming soon. Today's lunch is pancakes and sausage, and tomorrow's lunch is buffalo chicken dipper. Now and over to your world news. Hey, LMS, it's Gio here for your world news for today. They fell in love on next door after living in the same neighborhood for 40 years but never meeting. Chris Place logged in onto the hyperlocal online bulletin board to look for bargains when he spotted Michelle Tooby. The 44-year-old loved her pick, so she sent a wave notification and was delighted when she popped one back. It was the last thing I expected, Chris said. It's great because if we get married, our surname would be Place Tooby. Like, Place Tooby. Michelle recalled, Neither of us were looking for love. we completely given up. I'm so glad we found each other. Well, what do you think about this couple, LMS? That's all for your world news. Now let's head on over to your weather. Stop! Stop! Don't! Stop! Hey, I'm a mess. It's Bryson here with your weather news for today. Today is going to be partly sunny with a high of 62 and a low of 30. Tomorrow is going to be partly sunny as well with a high of 72 and a low of 44. Did you know that it doesn't always rain more in April, but it does rain more often? Well, that's all for me. Now let's head on over to your sports news. Good morning, I'm a message to Liana with your sports news for today. Barcelona has acknowledged that they are in contact with Lionel Messi, bringing him back to the club when his contract with PSG expires in June. The vice president of FC Barcelona confirmed on Friday that the club is looking into the possibility of re-signing Messi, who left for PSG in 2021. At the exciting stadium on Saturday, the fans began a chant in his honor of his possible return.
So I'm a mess. What do you think about this? That's all for me. Now let's head on over to your entertainment news. Hey, I'm a mess. It's Grace here with the entertainment news for today. Did any of you listen to the musician Ed Sheeran? Well, this past week, he dropped his new single, Eyes Closed, ahead of his new album called Subtract. This song is said to be a tribute for his best friend, Jamal Edwards, who suddenly passed away last year. The song features in the new trailer of his new Disney Plus documentary, Ed Sheeran, The Sum of It All, which talks about his rise of fame, the loss of his friend, and the news that his wife had a tumor while pregnant with a second child. So, my mess, have, you, have any of you listened to his song? That's all for your entertainment news. That's head on over here, fit for the day. I'm Angelique, and I'm an 8th grader. I'm Gab, and I'm an 8th grader. I'm Maddie, and I'm in 7th grade. I'm Ellen, I'm in 7th grade. That's all for Buzz TV. Have a great day, Alma Mess.